I really want a family. I've waited for my husband for so many years, and I'm just getting mad, and I'm about to turn 40. There's a lot of stress on me right now. I know it's all you've got to just be strong. What's a fight just to keep it together? I know you think that you are too far. Blood work came back normal. Hormone levels are normal. So we're going to proceed is never with uh, the process of Hope is never building these things. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to double injection. Don't let go. Don't let go. Y'all can peep all this on her IG page. This is Lolo Jones, Olympian. You know what I'm saying? Been doing it for a minute, but um, yeah. Saw the video and she goes on to say, she's terrified. 15 days before I turn 40, nothing that scared me more than feeling like I'm running out of time to have a family. I originally wanted to freeze my eggs when I was in my early 30s. I just kept thinking I would meet my husband and things will all work out. Well, here I am. Almost 10 years later, and it hasn't, with my anxiety increasing daily to know if I could even have kids. And then she goes on to, you know, provide some encouragement to women and uh, tell everybody what she's been doing. You know what I mean? Hey, y'all motherfuckers better wake the hell up. Y'all motherfuckers better wake the hell up. Yes, I'm talking to y'all women. I'm talking to y'all women, but it's like, there's no point in me even saying this shit. It's going to be like talking to a wall because the motherfuckers that need to hear it are not trying to hear it. So it's like, how can you, how can you deliver this information to those who are unwilling to hear it, unwilling to recognize the situation that they're placing themselves in? I mean, but, you know, this is a result of feminism. Feminism has got them brainwashed women to the point where they think they literally in control of everything within their lives and you're not because you don't you don't have time on your side and it's the, always the same fucking story every fucking time but if you bring that up if you bring that up to those who are struggling with it or feeling the effects of it it's a problem they don't want to fucking hear it and that's all that, that, right that's it. you fucked yeah you know i mean her situation's a little bit different though because i know she's a virgin like it has a it has a lot to do with why she's held on to her virginity because She's super religious, but even with that, man, she's a professional athlete as well, and I'd be willing to bet that she prioritized that career over everything, even though she's making it seem that family is so important to her to the point where, you know, she's she has anxiety. I mean, she's setting herself up for to, to freeze her eggs and all that shit, man. I mean, but there's definitely parallels with her situation and a lot of women today. Like, I foresee this being the future of the majority of modern women. 10, 15, 20 years from now, like maybe not, you know, freezing their eggs because that's expensive and everybody doesn't have the resources to get that done, but definitely feeling fucked up because that wall has, you know, hit them in the face, All right? And that wall is not playing no games, man. And that wall is, that wall is a reality check for women who live in this space. And it's, it's always the same fucking story every time in regards to the videos I watch from the people I talk to, you know what I mean? It's always the same shit. I got all the time in the world. I got all the time in the world to do me, focus on the bag, focus on my career. You know what I'm saying? And when I'm ready, it's going to happen. That's not the way it works. That is not the way it works. You're not in control of that. Because the longer you, longer you wait, the harder it's going to be. I mean, just, just <laughs> the longer you wait, the harder it's going to be. The longer you wait, the more your mentality and attitude are going to change and and you not being as receptive to potential partners and shit, man. Like, her being a 40-year-old virgin, that is an entirely different conversation that I would like to have. But it's pretty irrelevant because most people don't live in that goddamn space. But um, that's why I posted that damn question on the community tab yesterday. Seeing how y'all felt about it. I didn't give y'all context, but it came from this. Like, you're a 40-year-old virgin. That's, 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 a lot to, that's a lot to digest there. But feminism is fucking females up. It's not your friend. It is not your friend at all. When you, when you, when, when, when we live in how we live right now, man, like women don't want to be mothers no more, pushing it off. She 40. That's going to just add another old ass age until pushing this average age of first time mothers even farther and farther back. It's going to get steady, going to continue climbing. I mean, birth rate is lower than what it needs to be for us to even maintain a population on this earth. 
You know what I mean? Like, I guarantee you she's a victim of that as well, thinking that she got all the fucking time in the world. Like, I was going to do it in my 30s. I pushed it off. Why you push it off? I mean, I'm, she said she was waiting for the perfect man or waiting for her husband to come in her life. It's the same old story again. I'm going to manifest it. I'm going to wait for it. It's going to fucking happen. No, it's not. No, it is not. not. Not unless you fucking, not unless you do something to, to help your cause and not just sit back and wait for that shit to happen. That's why I continue to say women that are are headed towards this path need to put it, they need to take it upon themselves to go out here and find a man that they want and not just sit here waiting for Prince Charming to fall in their lap. That's not how, that's not how it works. Not today. You know what I mean? Like we, we've gone from women back in the day presenting the best version of themselves early on, earlier on in life to find a potential sp spouse, potential partner and shit too. Now we're just, I'm just focusing on me, my career, and then focus on the bag and, you know, whatever happens, happens. But you can't have a whatever happens, happens attitude towards something that is so important to you in the likes of, you know, finding a husband or, or having children. That shit, that's, that shit just not, you, you, that's not just a, you shouldn't treat it like a crapshoot. <laughs> She's like a crap shoe. It's going to crap all over you like it is now, like it is for a lot of women. I mean, her future is going to be the future for most of these motherfuckers moving around today, thinking they got all the fucking time in the world. And it's it's a it's a it's a it's a ugly collision, too. It's a ugly collision. You can't have it all. The majority of people cannot have it all. You know what I mean, and then, I mean, there's things you can do to have as much of everything as you can. Like, why not? Why couldn't she be? A mother and run track at the same time. It's track. It's athletes doing this shit. Look, hell, look at Sydney McLaughlin. She she might have she might be the athlete of the year out here killing it, killing it. I think she run the same events as goddamn Lola do. You know what I mean? Running did Lola do hurdles? I can't fucking remember, man. But Sydney McLaughlin out here killing it. I mean, she twenty one. She was a virgin up until that point. She just got married. You know what I mean? Out here crushing. That could have been Lola, but nah. She chose to fucking push that shit off. Why? Why? For some reason, we we are. Uh, we're, for some reason, no, I mean, not, not, it's not for some reason. It's it's because of feminism where they're taking women's focus off family and placing it on career themselves, chasing the bag. And what is what is it going to lead to? So it's going to lead to depression and frozen eggs and cats and dying alone. That's what that's what it's going to lead to. But you know, you're not going. You're not going. You know, you don't know until you know. You don't know until you experience it. And unfortunately, motherfuckers experience it is often too late. So yeah, y'all motherfuckers better wake the hell up. Y'all motherfuckers better wake the hell up. Like, how do you? What's the best way to deliver that information to women that don't want to hear it though? Y'all don't want to hear it. Y'all don't want to hear it. And the women that do know, they don't need to hear it. <laughs> yeah, I know the pushback. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of candidates, not a lot of prime candidates for these women to uh, have families with or you know take men serious. They out there. They out there. You got to open your eyes, right? But hey. At the end of the day, man, motherfuckers need to wake the hell up. Reality checks. You need to check yourself before the wall check it for you.